Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Butterfly Princess Show with me, Steph Marie, your host. This evening, well, today, um, I'm joined by the host of, um, by the cast and director of Be My Baby production that's being produced and performed by members of Old Saints Theatre Company. Uh, this um, this uh, production is being performed in October at uh, um, Old Saints House, the headquarters of um, Old Saints Theatre Company from the 16th to the 19th of October 2024. You can purchase your tickets on TicketSource. Uh, when I, when this uh, interview goes out, I will post the link. So we're just going to have a chat about hope the whole production today. So hopefully it'll be it'll be, um, inspire you to buy some tickets because I'll say it's out in this country again. I've done a few interviews now and it's an ongoing partnership and they have do put on some fabulous productions. So hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. First of all, uh, could you tell us a, a, a brief outline of the story of Be My Baby? Yeah, sure. Shall I take that one? <laughs> um, Be My Baby's um, a play that's written by Amanda Whittington. It's set in um, 1964, and it's um, about um, the story of four girls who find themselves in a, a mother and baby unit in um, in the 60s, um, who are pregnant from different kind of um, journeys, different, they've all got different stories. And it's a story about the four girls and how they come together and um, how they bond and how have similar sort of experiences that forges friendships between them. But it's um, it's a very bittersweet story. It's, it's um, set in the 60s on the backdrop of all the sort of amazing music that was going on in the swinging 60s. So it's kind of got that vibe with this kind of very sad story of girls who um, got nowhere else to turn but to go to the, this, this place and, and have their babies there. And uh, this... For, for you, you three girls are members of the cast because obviously Sam, you're the director. We'll talk about your role in a bit, but the three girls, so Charlotte, Megan, and Grace, could you give us a bit of an outline about who your character is that you're playing? Yeah, um, my character's Dolores, um, she's the youngest in. Uh, a unit, the ward, whatever you want to call it, um, and um, is has come into the to the home due to finding out she's pregnant, obviously. Um, and it's she's got quite a an upsetting backstory um, of how she's ended up in that situation. And throughout her time in there, she makes friends with all these girls, but she's only three months pregnant at the beginning of the play. So it's a sad reality that all these other girls are gonna have their babies before her and she's going to be left there but she's quite um innocent and not quite fully understanding of how babies are made and how they come out really um so there's quite a few funny moments in there when she has to realize how things are going to happen but also why she tells you how um upsetting her backstory is it's it's that lovely jiggle of the both of them um the sadness and the the happiness in there as well. Um, I play Mary and she's 19 year old. Um, she's seven months pregnant, but she comes from more of a middle class background. So her situation is almost completely different to everyone else's in the fact that she's trying to hide the pregnancy. Um, because obviously it's just it's not what you did in the 60s. <laughs> um, yeah, I just think no spoiler alerts, just meant to say that. No, <laughs> yeah, spoiler, no spoilers. <laughs> um, but there is quite a few intense scenes, especially between um, the four girls, a couple of, you know, just some of them, and obviously on your own as well. There's a lot of mature themes. You know, it's, it is a heavy play to do, especially if, like, money in the first place to do. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. yeah. And I play Norma. 
So Norma comes in and uh, she's introduced as being eight months pregnant. And she kind of has more of a decline throughout the show. There's a lot of uh, references to things to do with like mental health through her, um, which I think is quite important to display and to show because it shows how there's such a difference between all the four girls and how there's no one way to deal with being pregnant at any age. And I think that's quite an important message to have for people that there isn't a one, path, one track path for people to follow when it comes to it and that anything can kind of come out of it no matter how you got pregnant. Thank you for a brief um, introduction to the characters you play. Now, so Matt and Sam, I want to talk to you because obviously you're the director of the play and obviously, um, you know, you know, um, you were obviously part, well, you are part of All Saints Out, which we'll talk about in a minute, but Sam, you, you're the director of this play and obviously your husband, Martin, was uh, the musical director of the Beauty and the Beast at the West End uh, production that um, that all takes performed earlier on this year. So what 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 was it for you and what was it like like for you directing this play? Um, it, it's been um, so far, and I'm sure it will continue to be a, an amazing experience. It's such a wonderful play. It's so well written. The stories of the three, sorry, the four girls who are so so very different, but come together and have a kind of shared experience. The, the, the writing is just amazing. It's just a wonderful play. I'm so lucky and, and got some, just got a great cast. It's an all-female cast. There's only six, six in the cast. There's the four girls, um, four young women, and there's a matron who's a, a, key, role, a key role in this play and, and her, um, the way that she kind of supports or, or um, manages the home that these girls are, um, are find, find themselves in. That's a really important part of the play as well. And also the mother of Mary, Mary, Mary's mother is the sixth character really. And seeing her perspective on this situation that she finds her daughter in is just an amazing thing to be part of really. And I'm just so lucky to, to be asked by All Saints, who is such a wonderful society that give people the opportunity to do different things. I've acted and done musicals, but I've never directed before. So to be, to be given this opportunity is, is wonderful. And with such an amazing play, I'm so lucky. I can't believe I love the ending. <laughs> And so, um, and so, like, uh, we we've already discussed, but it's you know set in the year nineteen sixty four, so the sixties, and obviously that was when the baby boomers were sort of around. But you, these girls are so young, so you know, and they were various different attitudes towards you know single and young mothers in that in that era. Does the play sort of show different attitudes to how people view, you know, single mothers, young mothers at that time? It's absolutely about that, really, the changes that have taken place in the last 40 or 50 years. I mean, the 60s doesn't feel that long ago. I was born in the 60s, and, and the, the, the way, absolutely, the way young, um, unmarried girls, women, which were treated and how society looked at that, um, is really a real a theme of this play, really, and that's what it's about, and how they um, uh, found themselves in, in the 60s, which we all think of as the swinging 60s, but the, the contraception pill and, and, and legalised abortions and terminations were not available to young girls, young women, until very much later in the, later in the 60s. So these, these girls are in a society that really um, shuns girls that get find themselves unmarried and pregnant, so it's, it's, it's all about that, and... and Thankfully, we can look at that now and see how far we've come and how, how different it is now, but it wasn't that long ago when it was very different. And and I just want to talk to you now individually about your journey with All Saints, because obviously you're part of All Saints, and I'm, I feel that I'm part of All Saints as well, even though I don't act or perform, I feel that I am part of it because... I do all the interviews to promote the plays and I've uh, got the opportunity to work with um, and meet some of the great people. So I just wanted to, um, you know, talk about your individual journeys with all states. 
I'm just going to start with you, Grace, because obviously you, I'm right in thinking that you played the lead role of Belle in the production of Beauty and the Beast. And no, you were... I was in Beauty and the Beast, so I had the part role of um, Babette, who is Lumia's girlfriend oh. in Beauty and oh, the Beast. But... That was a that was a, a different grace, obviously. Who, who, who performed it? Or, or, or maybe I'm thinking of the what the one who, the one who like uh produced, directed, covered by you know the, the one that yeah, Andrew. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> how so how was that? Because I've met Andrew when you know we're working currently working together on my right my life story and I've spoke to Andrew with various different cast members. Now um, Andrew is a very funny person, he is a very good writer. So how was it for you to direct that couple of boys play that he written? Because Obviously, I can imagine that it was full of his humour and stuff like that. Yeah, it was good. It was a nice opportunity. Originally, I didn't come in uh, directing it. I came in as being a prompt for the show. And then because um, I've got a degree in filmmaking um, and primarily in directing, he asked me to kind of step in. And as a whole, I've been part of All States for about six years now. I started doing a panto and then I kind of can't help but come back and I was really excited to be cast in Be My Baby. Um, I'd never done it before, I'd never heard of it before the auditions came up. So I'm really, I'm really excited to be a part of it because I feel like every rehearsal it's, you learn something more about your characters and about their story and that's been really beautiful of this process. And what, what, what was being uh, the auditioning process like because this, this play isn't a musical, is it? So there's no like singing or dancing involved. It's just spoken dialogue. So that'd be very give The process of a auditioning for this type of play would be very different from auditioning for the likes of Beauty and the Beast that was a musical. Yeah, it was a different process. Um, I mean, for Beauty and the Beast, it was kind of an open um, call. With everyone was in one room. Um, for this, we came in individually. So prior to the audition, we were given pieces for each of the character, depending on which ones we wanted to audition for. Um, and we would audition with uh, those parts of the script. Occasionally, you'd be asked to read in for a different character to see how you do, to find the best fit for you, and if there's a character that you're more suited towards. And then for those of us that went for any of the girls, we also um, did a bit of singing along with a track um, to make sure that we could kind of do it how um, how Sam had envisioned it for, for the production. Um, with Regan, what, obviously I've never met you before tonight. It's the first time I've met you. So could you tell me a bit about your journey with All Saints, if you've been involved in any of the productions before or...? Yeah, so um, I inquired in like ages ago, like last August, um, about any shows and just theatre groups in the area. And I got a message saying, we don't have anything at the moment. Um, and I completely forgot, you know, as you do, just get on with life, you forget. And I got an email in February of this year saying, hey, we're doing casting for Beauty and the Beast. Do you want to come down? And so I dragged my friend along with me and we came down and did the audition. Right scared, um, dead scared, everyone's going to be dead with you, but they weren't, everyone's lovely. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I auditioned for that, obviously it was in the ensemble, and I had a full last, it was great, um, made some great memories and everything like that. And, uh, um, and sorry, Charlotte, I forgot your name then, Charlotte, obviously I've met you before because uh, we, I met you along with... Uh, doing the interview with yourself and Olivia and that was about the production of uh, Matilda Junior that you did, you know, with the youth theatre and so you've had both experiences of like Sam yourself, you've acted in productions but you've also had the chance to direct and work with the younger members of all the states. Yeah, that's right. So, um, Last year, like you said, we did Matilda Junior with Olivia. And the year before we did Jungle Book and Annie. Um, we just started the process of um well basically rejoining. 
Um, so we started last week and we're working towards our Christmas production with them. Um, and then the same time next year will be the musical. Well, hopefully I'll be in uh, Rebecca will give me the go ahead to, you know, have a chat about that because I'd love to. I feel part now that, that I'm part of the All Saints Theatre Company family myself now and because I, I feel that every time I speak to you different members I really get the chance to know you and get to know you I, I feel really privileged that you know Rebecca and the, um, the hierarchy of all states have given me this opportunity to make the bus fly princess show sort of part of all states outing so um what what is next for you so obviously um you know, the, the, the play isn't being performed until October next month, from the 16th to the 19th of October at All Saints House. So um, how are like, rehearsals going and how is everything with that going? Um, I, I, I mean, I, 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 <laughs> I just going really well. It's going to be an amazing production. I really wouldn't urge anybody, if you've seen it before or you haven't seen it before, just come on. It's such a lovely I mean, I've seen it several times before, and it's something that you can watch again and again because it is a wonderful play. So please come down and see it, whether you've seen it before or not. It's absolutely in for a treat. It's an amazing play. Um, so oh. I think I think rehearsals are going great. It's such it's such a nice. I mean, we like men in in, in our plays. <laughs> It's quite, it's yes. quite unusual to have an all-female cast, and that's just a nice thing to have to be able to do. Um, a female director, a female cast. It's just nice to have, have something um, just for the girls for a change, and that's nice. Um, obviously, all the other shows that All Saints have done have been kind of um, men and women, and that's lovely too. But I think it's just something a bit special about having an all-female cast and the opportunity to talk about women's kind of... Um, not women's issues, but um, it could be affecting all parts of society, men and women, these themes and these, these, these things that go on in this play. But just having a, um, a, an opportunity to have a kind of women's perspective on it is, is a really nice thing, I think, and really unusual. So that's obviously, that's obviously, obviously, just your final question. Obviously, this production is being performed at all Saints um, House, which is HQ, and obviously All Saints have performed the productions at the Met Theatre in Berry. Uh, now, uh, thing that um, I've obviously visited All Saints House when I did the interview about Blood Brothers, and it's quite a, a small, intimate sort of space, so... Uh, you've got like it's a small stage, but then you're like on a level with the audience. So is it goes back to create a better sort of. Do you feel that you have a, a more of a connection with the audience being? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's um because it's such an um an emotional play. I think the, the emotions um. To be to be so close to the cast and to the to the stage and the cast, I think you can get some of the subtleties that you can't always get from a large stage and an audience that are kind of set away from the stage. So I do think it is like you say, it's it's in lovely. We've got a look. We'll have a lovely stage. It will be you know for, you know proper production with all the things you'd expect in it. But just being that small venue makes it more intimate and more um uh, much uh, uh, just different experience. So yeah, there's I think there's forty forty seats per production. Um, and we've got um, six, produ six productions. We've got a Saturday matinee and a Saturday evening production. Um, we've only from Tuesday to Saturday. Um, so even though it's, you know it's that it's a small small space, but it's um, it's still got enough to have the atmosphere of theatre production. It's just perfect. It's actually the perfect balance, and it does allow you to kind of do it on a um, on a budget as well, which is important to a society like this. It's trying to kind of generate income to to help fund some of the big the big musicals that we do as well. So we've got the perfect scenario of a wonderful play in a small theatre, um, which will hopefully help to support the, the musical that we do as well. Oh, well, it's been really great to talk with you this evening and thank you for taking the time. And I really do wish you well. I hope it goes well on the nights in October and I look forward to promoting more work done by All Saints because it's really a fantastic organisation to be part of.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.